I'm at the Military Women's Memorial, located at the ceremonial gateway to Arlington National Cemetery. We are the only national memorial dedicated to telling the stories of America's service women from all eras and all military services. Today, we're taking a closer look at one of those stories. Jasmine Mobelli pursued her childhood dream of becoming an astronaut in a very ordinary way by applying through USA Jobs. In January 2020, she graduated from NASA's Astronaut Candidate Training Program. She is the first Iranian-American astronaut and might be the first woman on the moon. Mogbelli earned a Bachelor of Science degree in Aerospace Engineering with Information Technology from MIT. She was commissioned as a second lieutenant in the Marine Corps in 2005. She flew AH-1W Super Cobra helicopters and deployed to Afghanistan from 2009 to 2010. As a marine aviator, Mugbelli completed over 150 combat missions and logged over 2,000 hours of flight time in 25 different aircraft. After leaving the Marine Corps, she earned a master's degree in aerospace engineering from the Naval Postgraduate School. Her education and experience positioned her as an ideal candidate to become an astronaut. Once she was accepted into NASA's training class in 2017, Mugbelli studied robotics, the International Space Station systems, and even the Russian language. She also participated in neutral buoyancy training to practice spacewalks. Mogbelli credits the Marine Corps with preparing her to become an astronaut. I, I could not possibly tell you how much the Marine Corps has helped me get here. Um, from the most basic of things to, you know, I used to be terrified of public speaking. And here I am, you know, speaking in front of large group of, groups of people, speaking in public. The teamwork aspect of it, I think, was huge and was a large part of you know, getting me this job. And again, what greater organization than the Marine Corps to teach you about camaraderie, teamwork, and the crew concept. My flight training absolutely directly correlates over being in confined spaces, deploying for long periods of time, all those things tie back in and, and directly have helped me uh, get here. Mogbelli is now eligible for space flight missions with the Artemis program, which expects to land boots on the moon by 2026 and maintain a sustainable presence there for eventual missions to Mars. To learn more stories of women past and present who serve our nation, visit www.womensmemorial.org. Tune in for our next Her Story Spotlight. A master's degree in aerospace engineering from the Naval Postgraduate School. Her education... <laughs> Postgraduate.